What do you do when you can't get rid of your resistance? Well, the good news is you don't have to get rid of your resistance. You can actually still manifest even when you have resistance. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use your resistance to your advantage because resistance can actually be a really great manifesting tool. Now I actually have three ways that you can do this. So please make sure to watch through to the end of the video. So you get all three because these three can be used in different kinds of situations. So I'm going to try to tell you what they are and then give you a few different examples of how you can use each one so that you're always prepared, no matter what kind of resistance that you have. All right. So let's jump on in. All right. Now there's three different ways to do this, but at the baseline of this is that this is all about reverse psychology, reverse psychology. Okay. And so as you probably know, through the law of attraction, you are creating your reality through your mind. Okay. So when you think something you create it, but sometimes you may find yourself in a very resistant place where it is hard for you to believe in your dream. Okay. And so when this is happening, you want to trick your mind. You want to trick your mind. And so each of these three techniques is all about tricking your mind. They're all about reverse psychology so that it makes it easier for your dream to come. And even if you have resistance, you can actually still manifest. All right. So the first way that you can do this is this attitude of I'm better than this. I'm better than this. Okay. So let's say that there's something that you want and you're resistant and it's not coming. What a lot of people do is they cling. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Well, one way that you can use this reverse psychology trick is to tell yourself I'm better than this. This is beneath me. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of the snooty option that we have here. All right. So let me give you an example. This is one that I love to use in social situations. Okay. So <laughs> let's say that you are at a party and for whatever reason, people really aren't talking to you or you're feeling kind of disconnected and you'd rather be in the mix of things or you'd rather people be listening to you or paying attention to you. This is a trick that I use. <laughs> All right. So if I find myself in that situation, I'll just tell myself, oh yeah, I'm better than this. I'm better than this conversation. I'm better. I'm better than this. Now it's a snooty thing to say. It really is. But again, this is all about reverse psychology. And so what we're trying to get you to do at this stage in the game is to just accept the resistance and kind of tell yourself you almost don't want what it is. Okay. So there's a conversation going on and people aren't paying attention to me and I want them to pay attention. I want them to pay attention. And they're not paying attention. I'll just tell myself. I'm better than this. I'm better than this. And I'll sit back and I'll just dwell on the idea that I'm better than this conversation. The people that are in the conversation will all of a sudden start asking me questions and wanting to talk to me. Very fun little hack. Now, like I said, I'm going to try and give you kind of a range of how you can use these hacks. Okay. So the I'm better than this technique is a great one for, let's say that you want a job and they're not calling you back or they're stringing you along. You can decide, you know what? I'm better than that job. I'm better than that job. I don't even want that job. I'm better than that job. Really great one for getting jobs or things like that to click into place. Let's say that your specific person that you're interested in is not reciprocating the feelings that you have for them. <laughs> Well, you can dwell on the idea that I'm better than them. I'm better than this. I'm better than this situation. I'm better than this person. And just dwell on that idea. Let's say that you are trying to grow your Instagram. Okay. You're trying to grow your Instagram and your Instagram isn't blowing up. Okay. I'm better than Instagram. This, this social platform is beneath me. <laughs> Okay. So notice for each of those things, what we're doing is we're kind of accepting the resistance and we're putting a positive spin on it. Okay. It's, it's not coming good. It's not coming. I'm, I'm better than this. All right. So that is a reverse psychology trick, super effective for making things come quickly. All right. So I do have another technique that you can use here to use your resistance to your advantage. Okay. So again, it's not coming and we're going to take the, it's not coming and we're going to turn it into kind of this reason to make it come through reverse psychology. 
Okay. And so for this one, this one's really, really cool. This one has to do with the timing. Okay. So sometimes there may be something that you believe is coming, but it's just taking its time and you want it to come quicker, okay? <laughs> this is a really great strategy to use. This is the take your time strategy, take your time technique. It's kind of like, I don't want it to come now. So let me give you an example. I'm wearing this watch right here. This is a watch that I got from Rolex, but in order to get it, I had to get put on a list, okay? So I got put on a list for the watch. And so I knew the watch was coming, but I didn't know when. Is it gonna come tomorrow? Is it gonna come in a year? Like, when's it gonna come, right? So, and, and it was starting to take a while and I was starting to get annoyed. <laughs> so the watch wasn't coming, right? And I was getting annoyed, so I used this trick. The, I don't want it to come right now, take your time trick. And so for this one, what you wanna do is you wanna give yourself reasons why you want it to take time. Okay, so the watch isn't coming. Good, I didn't want that watch to come now anyway. I don't wanna pay for that watch right now. I don't have to drive all the way out to Orlando and pick this watch up. I got better things to do. Take your time. I've got too much going on right now. I don't have time for this watch right now. I hope the watch takes a while, okay? <laughs> now, wouldn't you know, as soon as I start playing that game, man, that watch came quick. That watch, all of a sudden, I got a call that week to go pick up the watch. So again, we're taking that resistance of time and we're just accepting it and validating it, that it's a good thing that it's taking time, okay? And so we're using kind of reverse psychology on the mind to say this, this resistance is a good thing. I'm glad I have resistance for this watch because I didn't want to get this watch right now anyway, okay? And so it's a really great way to get things to speed up. Now, again, I've got some other examples for you so you can see kind of the range of how you could apply this technique. Let's say that you're going somewhere and your flight is delayed, okay? A lot of times when the flight's delayed, people start freaking out. I want it to come now, I want it to come now, and they play into the resistance. Well, instead, try to use this trick. Why is it a good thing for it not to come now? Well, maybe I can get some more work done on my Yeah, that flight delay is good. Take your time. I don't want this plane to come right now. Let's say that you have been dating your boyfriend for a long time and he hasn't proposed and you're like getting mad about it. <laughs> Use this trick, okay? So I don't want him to pr propose right now. I'm not ready to get married. I don't want to have a baby right now. I want to pay for, I certainly don't want to have to plan for a wedding right now. I got too many things going on. Please do not propose to me now, okay? <laughs> um, another good one, if you're waiting on a baby, so you've been trying to get pregnant, that's a good one to use too. If you've been having that situation where you're not getting pregnant, you're not getting pregnant, go ahead and start singing that tune. I don't want the baby to come this month. I don't wanna get pregnant this month. I've got an event coming up and I wanna fit in that dress for such and such. And I don't wanna gain any weight right now. Like take it there, okay? Make it that objective that I want this to take time. Again, you're reverse psychologying your brain. And then the funny thing is, is as soon as you really get on board with that, then the baby comes. Okay, because you're no longer pushing into the resistance. Instead, you've accepted the resistance as a good thing. So what dreams are you working on right now? Are you in the process of working on manifesting the best life that you can? If so, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, go ahead and turn on the handy notification bell. I put out content like this every single week and I know you're going to love it. All right, we've got another technique here. Okay, it's another great way to use resistance to your advantage. Now, this trick could be used for a whole multitude of situations. This one is one that has a broad range of applications. So I really love this technique to always have in your back pocket. Um, this is this one's fabulous. I use this one all the time. <laughs> all right, and this is the I'm moving on technique. I'm moving on. 
So let me give you an example. This was an example I used yesterday. I went to Gainesville this weekend with some friends to go watch the Gator football game. And we had gotten a hotel and it was the next morning and we're in the hotel and I open up my computer because I'm gonna do a little bit of work before we leave. And the internet is not coming on, okay? <laughs> you ever have this where the Wi-Fi just won't connect? I couldn't get it to connect to the hotel. I couldn't get it to connect to my phone. It was just like not working, okay? When I find myself in situations like that, I will decide I'm moving on. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I'm over it. I'll do this later. I'm moving on. Okay. Now, this is a really great one. You got to sit there and kind of get yourself in that state of I'm moving on. I'm going to go do something else. And I get in my mind, what's the next thing I'm going to go do? Okay. So I'm sitting there. My computer's not working. All right. I'm moving on. What's the next thing I'm going to do? Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and get up, go brush my teeth. You know, maybe I'll go downstairs and get some coffee with the girls. And as I'm thinking of these things, boom. All of a sudden that little notification pops up from the hotel. Oh, put in your room number. And all of a sudden the internet was working. Okay, so the I'm moving on one is fantastic. This has a very broad range of application. I especially like this technique when you're trying to accomplish something, like again, turning on the internet, or maybe you're trying to fix something that's broken, or maybe you're trying to get through to somebody on the phone. You're trying to make something happen. Decide I'm moving on. Now the I'm moving on technique is one of the reasons why I think so many people have so much success with my manifesting test. Okay, now if you haven't taken that one yet, that's at manifestingtest.com. It's a free five minute law of attraction test where you can put something out and watch it come back. And the beauty of that test is that it's a very easy test to let go of and just move on with. I'm moving on, I'm gonna go do something else. People who do that effectively, who are able to just do that move on real fast, they all get the test to work for them, okay? So again, if you haven't taken that test now, make sure to go ahead and try it. I have a link below in the description. And along those same lines, I also have a video that you'd probably like if you like this last point, and it's all about giving up and how giving up can be so, so powerful and how giving up on things actually causes them to manifest. And so if you wanna learn more about that, make sure to go ahead and watch this video here and it'll give you lots of reasons to go ahead and just give up and take it easy so things can work out for you. All right, but thanks so much for watching today's video on how you can use resistance to your advantage to manifest. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another one soon. Bye-bye.